Had its eyes on the presidency last night. In Minnesota, an interesting situation was developing. For the first time in decades, the House of Representatives in that state will be tied. Mm -hmm. Valley News Team's Quinn Gorham heard from House leadership about what that could look like. The last time the Minnesota legislature had a tie was 1979. That's older than some members of this year's legislature. It puts the Minnesota House in a unique position, one that will need to have bipartisanship front and center. During the 1979 legislative session, leadership from both parties proposed a simple solution to balance the power. One party would control the speakership and the other would control the committees. It was at the time an interesting proposal and by the early hours of Wednesday morning, one that both parties were painfully aware of. Republican and DFL leadership held back-to-back -back news conferences in the Capitol on Wednesday afternoon. While their priorities were different, their tone was the same. Both sides would have preferred to take the majority, but a split legislature provides a unique opportunity for bipartisanship. This is the perfect opportunity, as I said, for us to work together with our Democrat colleagues and bring civility back where there has been a lack of that. Minnesotans certainly sent us a tied Minnesota House. So what they are asking us to do is to work together and be productive. And we are fully prepared to do that. Over these next few months, both Melissa Hortman and Lisa Damith will have to decide how to share the gavel. They both seem to think that the 1979 model likely won't work in a modern setting. It'll be very interesting to see how these parties agree to hold the speakership. In the last hours of the previous legislative session, Speaker Melissa Hortman brought down the gavel, showing the unilateral authority the speaker can hold if they deem it necessary. Finding a way to share that authority between the two parties will be key in 2025. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. The other branches of the legislature in Minnesota will be controlled by the DFL. Tim Walz will return for the rest of his term as governor, and the DFL did secure a victory in the Senate special election last night.